everyone, while we're here, we're back and today we're doing another anti-MLM video and for this video we are heading back on over to Reddit and seeing what craziness the Huns have been up to. I just wanted to share something really quickly because I was featured, I say that kind of loosely, but in an anti-MLM Instagram account. There are a lot of them, but I always view it as a positive thing because the more people who are speaking out against MLMs, the better. The Instagram account is called Make It Make No Sense, and they quoted something that I said from my last Reddit React video and put like a little digital image of me, and it made me like so excited to see like kind of art. I know it's not really art, but I believe like years ago on uh, Twitter, I had said, like, if somebody makes art of me, then I've clearly made it. And I'm viewing this as art and that I've clearly made it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I thought that was really nice of them to do that. So if you guys want to follow them, I highly suggest it. They post a lot of anti-MLM content. And clearly, if you like my content, then you will like even more content over on Instagram. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really like it, please subscribe. Make sure to check out my description below for all of my fun links. And with all of that said, let's get started. Hey, I'm hosting an online Pampered Chef party and I'm so excited. I really want the insert item and the insert item. Just wait until you see them. My consultant, Vicky, makes the parties really fun and she gives cooking tips, recipes, and plays games with prizes. I'll be adding you to the group today. It's casual, so you can just check in whenever you want. Alternatively, you can request to join by following this link. And OB says, I really want the insert item. How This just goes to show how little they care about these businesses. Because if it was truly your own business, you would not just copy and paste this and leave the insert item in a post like this. Like, how... Do you not check and see that? And it is, it's so ridiculous and so inauthentic and just shows such a lack of not caring. If it, it, you just copy and pasted this and sent this out to a bunch of people and you want people to take you seriously and think that you love this business and that it's a great opportunity to join when you're clearly just being the copy paste hun that you are. Gotta see what the comments say. These are my favorite posts on the sub. We all know their messages are copy and paste, but seeing them not edited is effing hilarious. It's never not funny. Should play Boss Babe's Mad Lib. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Boss Babe Mad Lib? Oh, that would be a lot of fun. Every time I visit the Young Living Farm in Utah, I love talking to the field workers. Most speak Spanish. And asking them how long they've worked at the farm. Most over 10 to 20 years. If they love their job, all of them do, and if it's true that they don't use pesticides, to which they all point at their muscles and say, we pull weeds. I love the open door policy Young Living keeps, and I can't wait to go visit more of their farms around the world. This year, I was especially intrigued by the Ningia, Ningia, I don't know, wolfberries growing at the Mona farm. Oh, there's that word again, Ningia. Red is my go juice. It makes me go in all the ways. Do you drink this word, red? Who wants a sample? That was a that was a roller coaster. <laughs> One, I don't know what that word, Ningia? I don't know, I'm probably pronouncing it very wrong. But obviously, Young Living and you drink it. That always worries me because Young Living is the essential oils one and whenever they say that they're drinking something, it definitely makes me worried for their safety and also for their sanity. <laughs> definitely both. Um, and also like, why does it matter if the workers speak Spanish? Why did you need to add that in there? Completely unnecessary. And yeah, I'm sure they all just love their jobs and, and wouldn't want to do anything else because from the bottom to the top, working at Young Living is just the most magical thing in the world. God, these Huns are so weird and crazy. Comments say, the funny thing is that those farm workers probably net more income than this Hun. <laughs> oh, that, that, that got me, that got me. 
Costco, seriously? And it's a Cutco display. I mean, I think a lot of these MLMs are able to get away with this stuff because a lot of people just don't know about it. And they're like, I'm just here to sell a knife set. And they mainly see, oh, they're just selling a product and they probably will just mainly sell a product while they're in the store. But once they get, if they even get people and let's say they do sell them their $400, $500 knife set, which is incredibly overpriced for a knife set. You don't need to spend $500 on cut coat knives, that's for sure. You can definitely get way better quality knives for way less, but it's an MLM. They overprice everything for things that are better quality that are cheaper elsewhere. Uh, but anyways, so like you would pay the $400 for the knife set and then they're like, hey, wouldn't you also like to do what I do, you know, once you're out of the store and once, you know, they have your contact information, they can talk, you know, talk to you all the time because now they have you. It's, it's a, it's an MLM trap. I want to see what the comments say on this one. That was the first job I had a few years ago and not until I joined the sub and learned what the hell an MLM is when I realized I fell for the MLM con. It is massive for people right out of high school to join Cutco because they will come to schools and they will sell, you know, 17, 18 year olds who are about to get out of college or out of college, about to get out of high school. Like, hey, don't you want your own business? And like, they, they make it sound so great and so wonderful. And you're like, oh my God, I don't have to go to college. I can make millions of dollars right out of high school just selling knives and they make it seem so easy. And they tell me these are great knives at a great price. But it's not true. It, it's, it, it should be absolutely illegal for any MLM to step foot anywhere near a, a high school. It's ridiculous. And I know they also do it at um, colleges and they'll put up the signs and stuff and be like, looking for a job? Like, come buy and sell Cutco. And it's like, no, gross. Get out of here. Ew. I guess she gets points for honesty. Hey, I'm about to send you a very peppy copy-pasted text to ask you if you'd like to join my Norwex party, lol. Hey, guest name! I am hosting a Norwex party on Facebook starting Monday. I love these products. They are amazing. I thought of you because, pick one, you are into reducing toxins, want to make cleaning quicker and easier, are very earth friendly, have big messes with little ones at home looking to save money. My consultant offers samples in the group to try too. Want included? LOL, want included. I swear this is legit, haha. <laughs> also, no pressure. I am being forced to awkwardly ask all my friends, LOL. I guess I will give them some points for the honesty of being like, hey, uh, this is gonna come off really weird and totally not like me. And I guess adding, you know, the before and after text makes it more personal to them. But. <sighs> The fact that they said they're being forced to awkwardly ask all their friends. We hear from the MLM huns all the time is that like, we never force people to talk, you know, get their friends and family involved. This is an example of somebody who is being told by their upline to ask all of their friends and family. And I just don't understand, like, instead of sending these messages, leave the MLM. You're clearly, uncomfortable doing this, you don't want to do it, and yet you're being told that you have to do this in order to make sales and get people a part of your downline. I think this is very telling that if you are so uncomfortable doing it that you have to prefer, preference, pre, 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 preference, preference, you have to uh, give a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> My brain just couldn't think of that word. Uh, you have to give a heads up that like, hey, this is gonna come off weird and awkward. Um, I do want you to still come and join though. Like how is this, I don't know. It, I, I think it just, it, it, it should be a thing that instead of doing it, instead of sending these messages, you get out of the MLM because you're doing something that you don't wanna do in your own business. You're being forced to do something. You have a boss telling you what to do. Isn't that the whole point of joining an MLM is you don't have a boss, you're your own boss, you get to make the decisions, but yet you're being forced to message all of your friends. You feel very uncomfortable and salesy about it. I don't know, I think it's a sign to 
not join an MLM. I mean, there's a lot of signs on why not to join an MLM. Uh, why does she sound like she's being held hostage? Because they always are in MLMs. They, if you are a part of the downline, it is like you're in a hostage situation because you've already put money into it. You clearly at least want to make your money back. That's very hard to do. You know, they tell you the best way to make your money back is to contact your friends and family, get them to join or get them to buy. And you feel uncomfortable about that, but you're kind of forced to do it. It's, ah, uh, it's such a headache. It's such a hassle. It's so absolutely ridiculous and people keep falling for it every single day and a lot of it it's not their fault because they don't know but ah, i just wish people would not would just like see see it right away if you're uncomfortable sending the messages get out of the mlm please we love a good income claim when you look at the badass team you have already and find things online you'd be able to buy with your first paycheck once it comes to fruition no, I won't actually be buying this. Just showing what I'd be able to afford with it. Can't wait to prove myself right because I'm done proving others wrong. Now, it could be an income claim. You could be, you know, you could... Because she is kind of saying like, hey, I could spend this much money. I'm not going to, but I could. Or it could be a lie to get more people underneath her so that maybe one day she could be able to afford this on the backs of all the people that she you know, has below her that she used this to get them to join and be like, wow, she's able to afford a car with her first paycheck? I want to get involved with that, even though looking at every statistic of every MLM, it disproves that. So that's why I kind of think that she's lying. Wouldn't be surprised. A hun lying? I know, shocker. Let's see what the comments say on this one. Imagining what I could buy with money I don't have. Same girl, same. Don't we all do that? I will browse Amazon or just random websites and look at like really expensive things and be like, wow, one day I would love to have this. It's like, I can't afford it now, but in the future, I totally will have that. Okay, it looks like somebody reposted a post from No Shame Sales Game, Colleen. It says, Dear Network Marketers, don't tell people the perks of your job, show them. Caption, rather than getting the perfect pick for IG so you can caption it with some basic white girl quote like living, laughing, and loving the time freedom my job gives me, show them. Share how you're at your kid's school function or able to get manicure on some random day or available to be there with your friend last minute. Rather than trying to make the perfect reel or snap a carefully curated photo, bring your audience along on the fun, messy, exciting journey you're on in your stories. You posting with your MLM BFF in matching t-shirts on a beach makes everyone roll their eyes. And yes, I've been in many of those same photos. Get real, be relatable, stop focusing on curating, and start focusing on living. They'll feel the vibe, and they'll get curious enough to ask you about it. Just starting in the biz, or feel like there's nothing to show yet, that's okay. I want you sharing your excitement about where you are going. Like and drop a comment if you understand the assignment. And then, as always, a lot of hashtags using, I'm my own boss. Work for yourself, MLM positivity, and then a bunch of MLMs. Typical Colleen, no shame sales game. Just doing what she does and promoting every MLM out there because she loves MLM so much. But hey, I guess she's gonna do whatever she wants to do. But I just find it funny that like, she's kind of telling people what to do in their own business. Like, this is how you should be on Instagram. You know, don't take the perfect photos. Show the messy side in your stories. And it's like, but, but if people want to make the perfect Instagram aesthetic photos, they're allowed to do that. If people want to take the time to set up a really pretty photo shoot because it's what they want to do in their own business. It's, you always have to show why you're so grateful for the MLM. Like, look at me out here getting my nails done. Look at me at my kid's soccer game. Like, you're working while you're with, you know, supposed to be paying attention to your kids. Like. They always want them to work at like weird times. It's like maybe they could be setting up this photo shoot when their kid is at school. But no, it's like, no, take the picture at the soccer game and thank the MLM. And that is kind of exactly what this whole post is about is 
Praise the MLM for allowing you to have this freedom. Praise the MLM for allowing you to have the money to get a manicure, which you probably maybe could have done prior to the MLM. Like instead of spending on the starter kit, you could have gotten a manicure and you wouldn't have had to thank the MLM. But it's just funny because it's like, Thank the MLM for allowing you to do everyday things. And it's like people who have legit jobs don't need to thank their business for allowing them to have Starbucks or get a manicure or be at a kid's soccer game. Like they are just genuinely there because they want to spend their time with their kid and be fully concentrating on spending time with their kid and not thinking, how can I use this to manipulate people to join my scam? Is it bad I keep this page on my Facebook just for a free cringe show? I've watched families retire husbands from their jobs. I've watched people smashing out five-figure weeks. Yes, you read that correct. I've watched people's lives being transformed in all areas. It totally blows my mind that I'm a part of this. Does it sound too good to be true? I thought so, but I took the leap to find out anyway. And what I found has changed my life forever. Imagine having an extra thousand, five thousand, or even ten thousand per month. How much would that change your life? Comment below to find out how. It says, are you ready to create the life you have imagined? Goop gang. You named it Goop Gang? I mean, is that like the, oh, what is her name? Gwyneth Paltrow, she has the, her, her Goop brand. I doubt they're associated with that. I mean, they could be, but I doubt it. But it's like, you can't make these claims. And again, all of this, they're just words. And I mean, they're words to get people interested in. They're like, I need money right now. I would love an extra $5,000 or $10,000. Anybody would love that. But then you go, hey, how could I do that? And they say, I'm a part of this amazing opportunity. And you're like, oh, so it's a scam. If it sounds too good to be true, it almost entirely always is. And yes, people in MLMs do make really good money, people at the top, because the scam has to work in order for people to fall for the scam. So saying this stuff, it, it's just a way to manipulate people and they're not even saying that they have made this much money, that they have made thousands of dollars. They just said that they have seen people who have made five figure weeks. It doesn't mean they have, maybe they're talking about people really high up in the company because all those people will shout from the rooftops how much money they make in order to inspire people to stay in the MLM. So that could be definitely a major thing or this is just a copy and paste thing. Who knows? Um, I don't believe any of it. Psh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> See what the comments say on this one. Is this the same goop as Gwyneth Paltrow? If she still had even the tiniest bit of morality left in her, I guess it's all gone now. Yep, I believe so. After Googling, it's also Modare. There was an earlier thread where many posters said, this is not Gwyneth Paltrow's business, which is non MLM, at least not yet. Oh, is hers a different goop? Okay, so they were having the exact same like thing I did. I was like, is it? Goop, like Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop, uh, maybe not. I mean, as far as I know, Gwyneth Paltrow's company is not an MLM, but if something were to definitely become an MLM, I could see that happening. All right, so we have reached the end of the video and we all know what that means. It is meme time. It says, I'm not interested in joining your pyramid scheme, so don't PM me. And it's a note on a door. And the response is, that sign won't stop me because I'm not a pyramid scheme, hun. It's a legit business. Hashtag boss babe. <laughs> and this is from Arthur. I've seen this meme format before. This is a pretty good one. And that's, that's absolutely true. They're going to say that this can't stop me because we aren't a pyramid scheme. We are legal. And, you know, pyramid schemes are illegal. But if pyramid schemes did exist, there would be every other business except for the one that I'm in. It's like the contradictions and MLMs is just, I don't know how they're able to say one thing and then like within 30 words contradict themselves. And it happens all the time. They'll say, you don't have to message your friends and family, but your friends and family would just love to be a part of this. So why wouldn't you ask them? It's, it's just stuff like that. It's like they, they don't want to be a part of the stigma. They don't want to be a part of the typical MLM world and the things that are said, but yet they all say those things 
because they believe them to be true and they think that their MLM and the way that they're going about it is different. When in reality, so many of us see through that, we don't believe it, we call people out on the contradictions, it's like, you know, you can't say, we don't force people to invite their friends and family and we don't make people spend a bunch of money in this MLM. If they do, it's on them. So you'll blame the individual, but yet in team calls or even opportunity calls, they'll say, just reach out to your friends and family and speak to a hundred people a day. You know, start out with five and then get to a hundred. How many people actually know that many people and would be comfortable reaching out to strangers or even their friends. And yes, maybe in your specific team, they don't force you to spend money or, you know, reach out to your friends and family, but in other MLMs, they are doing that. Maybe even within the same MLM that they are, but maybe their team is slightly different. But it doesn't mean that it's not happening. Just because you personally haven't experienced it, doesn't mean it's not happening around you every day, all the time. All right, you guys, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, please subscribe. Let's talk anything and everything anti-MLM in the comments below. And until my next video, I will see you guys then. Bye.